Welcome back, 0K fans! This is still Shadow Fury ACC3. I have not changed my identity whatsoever in the last five minutes. And we're gonna have another game. This is gonna be Icons and Kane on Hide and Seek. Another one with Kane, who, after watching that last replay, commented, I didn't realize it was that close! Because it was. It really was. But now they know. And with that, they will probably do better in later games, although admittedly Kane's actually quite good. So. Also, Kane is the is another person who's been doing casts for 0k. They've been doing usually just big batches of casts. They just, they'll do about like 10 games and just throw them on YouTube once a week or something like that. It's a little bit of an awkward schedule, but that's what they've been doing. So you can check their channels. KaneCastZK is their username. So anyway, that's, they've been starting to do that about a month ago. And they're doing a decent job at it too. So without further ado, let us get to the game itself. Actually, before we the game, I should introduce the map, because I don't think I've shown this map very much. So Hide and Seek is a map that has some expansion. Well, it starts out two pairs in the center. Both the start boxes are in the center area. There are, however, as can be seen, quite a few resources behind the starting area. This map, typically what will end up happening is players will start focusing on the center entirely. They will start taking the outside, yes, but of course, harassment will also go around the outside, and it becomes kind of tricky to figure out how much you should balance the area between you and your opponent because you want to make sure that you're not getting hit directly while also making sure that you're covering your backside and making sure you get as much economy as you can. Because if your opponent is not harassing over here, there's a lot of economy to be taken. This is a very high metal map. So anyway, let us begin. Kane going for Kalikibot Factory and Hokum Sorry, Icons not yet choosing their factory. Going for Spiders. I was about to say this map as you can see, is a very cliff-based map. Spiders do well here. Especially if they set up on the cliff here. If you set up recluses or crabs on this cliff or on these cliffs here, this map is built for spiders. It basically, it supports spiders very well. I don't know if that was intentional, but it certainly does the trick. A little surprising though, very few fleas have been built up. There's a few fleas here and there, there's about four of them. Five of them, sorry. But otherwise, Icons focusing entirely on setting up economy while Kane going in with a bit of harassment. They have a couple glaives, they have their... Wait. No, they just have glaives! They're just going... Oh no, they have two glaives and then a convict. Oh sorry, then a rector. So that... That was a more economic opening. They're not focusing on her attacking too much. Which is exactly what you should do in this map. Like I said, a lot of metal. Huge amount of metal on the map. You want to make sure that you take as much as you can. So Kane is... Actually going to be able to get some harassment off too, getting rid of one metal extractor, possibly two? I don't... Yeah, there is one angle he could go for here. No, not even the one! The heck? There we go, got rid of it. That was a little bit wonky, but they do know about the spider lab, they... Probably could have taken this metal extractor. Yeah, they, could, they got on the cliff here, they went here? They would have been able to hit the metal extractor for free. Because the red back hadn't been built yet. A little late now, though, and they actually didn't... Well, the middle extractor's been rebuilt, so... Slight advantage for Kane. Actually, no, slight disadvantage for Kane. 10 to 8. Now it's even, but still, that's... Yeah, they're getting up a bit more slowly. And actually, they aren't taking the slightly more valuable metal extractor back here. I don't know if they realize the metal extractors in their opening area are actually less valuable than the ones in back. Which is probably why I can set up the Spiderbot factory right by the plus 2.4. I mean, that's nearly double the metal for one spot. You always want to do that. I don't know if Kane's noticing that at all. Because it's something that most people, I don't think, play with the economy view on most of the time. It's a little bit distracting. There is a lot. Of, it's very busy, which if you guys don't want me to have the economy view up in general, I can turn it off. Just let me know. I think it's pretty handy, especially on a map like this, where not all the metal spots are the same to know what metal spots are what. Like, which ones are the more valuable ones, which ones are the less valuable ones, how valuable each one is like in relation to each other. Just so you have an idea of how much metal is in each particular spot. Anyway, Kane is continuing to set up rather defensively. Icons going along the back, which is not surprising at all, continuing to go back, getting... I mean, they only have five metal extractors so far, and they have on par, very nearly on par economy with Kane. Uh, 
Oh. Anyway, this is... This is one thing, though, is that Kane, they have gone for Rockos, and the thing with Rockos, they counter Venoms, which is pretty powerful against the Factory. But it is going to be a little bit tricky. Redbacks... Redbacks actually do enough damage that they can basically tank through and destroy the Rockos. you got to be careful fighting Rocco with Redback. Actually, sorry, fighting Redback with Rocco. Nice harassment, though. Kane going around back does realize Icons is going around the back. If they take out this Metal Extractor, which they aren't going to do, are they going to... No, they are not. Ah. That's unfortunate. But they are going to be at least still on par. So with that, Kane does have... Well... Now they have more of an economic advantage. They have taken out this metal extractor over to the northeast. That's exactly what they needed to do. Icons continuing to expand over here, which is exactly what they need to do as well. And the redbacks and venoms coming in here. The Rockos are in place. Like I said, they can help get rid of the venoms, but the redbacks have about the same range, I think. Range 300. No, never mind. They have two thirds of the range. Still, even with two thirds of the range, they're actually able to deal a fair amount of damage. The, the thing is. These guys here, the Venoms, they have half the range. So they are pretty much dead. Even then, the Redbacks actually take a lot of damage. Wow, that... That DPS widget font is terrible. I thought I'd give it a shot, but yeah, it's a terrible font. Hmm. Well, anyway. Yeah, forget it. Sorry, I was thinking that'd be kind of cool to have the damage shown, but the font's terrible and you can't really read it. So forget it, never mind. Anyway, back to the game. So Icons, they're gonna have a bit of a hard time here. Rockos do deal with, well, Venoms primarily, Redbacks to a lesser extent. Hermits, no. They do not deal with Hermits, they do not deal with Recluses. But Icons is not going for that. They are instead just trying to evade the Rockos. Trying to get around them, trying to hit where they are not. Which unfortunately is really nowhere. Nowhere of interest. Kane has gone very defensive in this style. If They've been trying to avoid going anywhere that's risky. And Icons, on the other hand, wow, they've lost a lot. They've lost yet another builder from the looks of it. I mean, Kane just has this glaive patrolling around the outside edge of the map, which is great. It's stopping Icons from getting anywhere around. Icons is not building towards the center. So Kane right now has no easy way to lose economy. I mean, they're just getting ahead and ahead and ahead. They're taking all the mental extractors around the side. Icons has no easy way to actually get stuff around. They could send fleas around. But if there are any defenses, that's stopped right away. However, fleas are about the only thing that's fast enough to match up with the glaives. But the Venom's still coming in here, continuing to try to harass where they can, and glaives foolishly rushing in. This Venom is going to be able to... Uh, well, just one Venom. I'll be able to make that shorter work of them, but still. Dangerous thing to try to do. But the Redbacks and Venom, they do escape. They get out alive. Oh, no, no, the red back gets out. No, just barely. Defender takes out both of them. Good placement on the defender there, Kane. And Icons going for a jump bot switch, thinking that spiders will not work for them. Going for jump bot, a, an interesting choice. I'm surprised, honestly. I mean, if you look at look at the map, yeah, it kind of supports jump bots. Spiders supports a lot better because you can kind of go on the cliffs, you can go at the top. It's a bit more easier to get around. Jump bots, you have to jump up, jump down. Firewalkers would work fairly well, but they can't jump. Pyros, well, they can jump in, but that's about it. Otherwise, not really sure. Most of the units that you'd be able to take advantage of the terrain with can't jump, and the ones that can, they only use as an ambush point, not an art artillery staging point. I'm not really sure what the point is. That and the fact that jump bot is just harder to use than spider bot in general. A jump bot, you have to micromanage it a lot better, and you have to make sure that you are keeping units, well, fighting what they're supposed to be fighting. It's a bit tricky to do that. Whereas at least Spider versus Cloaky, while Fleas are kind of dead, and Rockos mostly counter the factory, if you don't have many Rockos nearby, Redbacks and, Rock Redbacks and Venoms just destroy everything. Whereas the jump bots, you need Pyros, you need Moderators, you need Placeholders, and you need to set them up just right. I don't know. It's a little bit of an odd choice on the part of Icons. We'll see if they pull it off, though. Yeah, there we go. I'm thinking, why are they not attacking? Come on, Icons. You, you can see that, can't you? Can you? 
Oops. Oh, actually, I guess they... Oh, maybe they couldn't have. Didn't realize Redbacks had such a low vision radius. Still, now we'll get some harassment in, but at the same time, continuing to get harassed, and Rockos are also pretty good against Pyros. Not as good as they are against Venoms and Redbacks, but they are still pretty good against Pyros. The one thing, though, is there are, of course... Well, jacks. Really, that's that's going to be a thing to use. Vikings able to get rid of the southwest. Good harassment there. That is very handy. I mean, there is the sharpshooter coming in here. That's a that's a scary thing to deal with, but it's not coming in the right positions. I mean, Kane. Actually, Kane doesn't really know where to go. They'll soon see that the sharpshooter was going in the wrong direction. There'll be some radar dots right here. There we go. There are the radar dots. But they are now out of position. That sharpshooter is probably just going to try to chase them directly. So unfortunately, Kane made a bit of a bad call there. However, they do have a nice set of glaives set up, which will be able to deal with these pyros, no problem. And those pyros there, yeah, not not much to hope. The Redbacks and Venom's not moving forward. Why are they not moving forward? They need to move forward. The sharpshooter is hunting them down. Icons, go, move, move your units. Focusing way too much on these pyros, which... I mean, the pyros aren't fight moves, so they're clearly not focusing that much on them. But yeah, these things need to move. Sharpshoot's gonna get another shot off. There it goes! Oh, misses, but still. That was just by... I don't know why that missed, actually. That weird positioning. But still, like, Icon's not focusing on this potential massive harassment target. Like, this entire side of the map would be wiped out. Oh, there is actually a mischance. This entire side of the map would be wiped out if Icon's were to attack it. Igans doesn't know this though, which is unfortunate. Although it is one of the reasons why I mean, if it built, if it built a spider builder, it built radar up here. That would have probably allowed them to see what's going on. Ah, Igans, this is so painful. I know you can't. I knew you couldn't have seen what's going on. I probably shouldn't be too harsh on that one. It's just, I can imagine what would happen if this were to go forward and actually destroy everything. Where Kane is focusing so much on this, now it can't. Now, now the, without the red back, that's not going to happen. Icons, they don't have this game. They've lost. They lost, I think when they switched to Jump Bot Factory, actually. That was not what they needed to do. And now they've lost one more Venom. One le Venom left, but that's... Yeah, they don't want to go... For, I don't know why they didn't want to go for Spiders more. It works better on this map. Other than the Rockos, and like I said, the Rockos, you have Hermits, you have Recluses. Especially given the hills, the Recluses would be awesome. And the Hermits, if you put them on the hill and just dodge around... The Rockos can't hit them, because they're dodging around in a plane. Like, that's the thing, I mentioned before, when you're fighting... Like... Okay, yeah, that's... Unfortunately, Engine 98 has some camera glitches. I don't know, the camera was completely, re or partially rewritten, and then it messed up the free camera, which is what the, C the combined overhead free camera that I use is using. <sighs> like I said, I've submitted a bug report a month ago. It's kind of annoying now. Anyway, that aside, this is a plane. Like, any spider unit on these cliffs, basically, it's not just a line. It's not just, oh, it could hit you from here, here, and so you want to move around here. No, it's this entire plane, this entire box, that can move around in all directions, allowing even more dodging opportunities and making it even harder for the Rockos to hit. But that was not to be. I still am surprised they didn't go for Hermits. I guess they're right, they don't really know how to play spiders, because there's... I mean, spiders, I think a lot of people think of as Venom and Redback. And Venom and Redback are very powerful units, so there's no surprise that those are the ones that are the bread and butter. They should be. Hermits, however, are still fairly powerful. Recluses are underestimated, mostly because of the fact that you need a lot of them to be able to get enough saturation to hit anything. But once you do, you hit everything. And crabs, of course, crabs are the end unit factory. Or it's an end factory unit. They, they are the the unit that you get that factory for, if nothing else. Like you're building up to crab. In the same way that Jump Bot builds up to Sumo, though admittedly Sumo, not in the last year or so. It's powerful, but it's not what you build up to in the same way crab is. But that's the thing, is there are a lot of units that are quite useful for the Spiderbot factory against Rockos. But Pyros are not one of them in the Jump Bot factory. Jacks are. Jacks are, they're tough enough to tank all the shots, and they can just jump in and rip apart the Rockos. 
it's kind of scary when you're playing as rock because you think, oh, I could just destroy this. It's a jack. Why not? It just it's a melee unit. Can't hit me. Yeah, but it can't get close enough. But anyway, that is not to be, so I hope you enjoyed that. That was Kane and Ikens on hide and seek. Really, I think Hikens, if they were not confident in spiders, should have gone to Cloaky. Should have just made it to Cloaky Mirror. This map is fine for Cloaky Bot. If your opponent isn't going for stuff that goes in the hills, and even if they are, but if they aren't, the map's fine for Cloaky. Like, don't let the terrain distract you. The map works for Cloaky just fine. So, build Cloaky. Shields could work okay, too. Build one of those, and then work from there. But anyway, that was the game, so I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching, and that will be it for me tonight, so have a good night, everyone.